Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the Git Checkout. What are some of the additional uh, functionalities? What the Git Checkout will do? We'll, we'll try to see in this video. So now, up to here, what we have learned about the Git Checkout is Git Checkout does a lot of actually in the, in the Git the Checkout command does a lot of things here. So what actually we know up to now. So git checkout does a lot of things actually so what we can do is so git checkout mostly we will we have used from to move from one branch to another so that means if i try to open this one here i am having a git checkout right now i am in the master so if you want to check the branches list you will be able to see here so if i want to move from one branch to other branch something like master to feature or something like that we can use directly git checkout feature so that we can move automatically to the to that branch so that means it, we can move from one branch to another using git checkout so you need you, you, are, you remember this one point and another one what is the second functionality creates new branch if the branch is not existed and moves head to that branch okay so that means for example here if you try to see git branch so now i am having master feature and the new feature so now if i want to create a new branch and want to move the move to that uh, checkout uh, move to that branch also we can also use this git checkout so git checkout hyphen b so i can write something like feature one so this is the new feature branch i am creating so here i can create it like this okay so now what has happened so now if i try to do git branch so now new new branch has been created and also the head has also moved to the new branch so that means we can move from one branch to another using git checkout and if the branch is not there using git checkout we can create a branch also okay you need to remember these two things and another one not only the branch we can also shift to a particular commit hash if you observe okay if you observe so now here in the git checkout we are moving from one branch to another if the branch is not existed we are creating and also not only moving from one branch to another we can also move to a particular commit hash also as we already have seen so now for example i am in the git checkout master if i am in the git checkout master if i clear it out so now here if i try to check git log hyphen hyphen one line so we can if we check the log so i can move to particular commit also so if i copy it here and if i do git checkout so if i paste this one okay so now we have moved to it to that particular branch particular commit hash okay so now not only to the branch we can move the head to a particular branch also to particular commit hash also you need to remember these are the three things what we have learned up to now now we will try to see so now if you move the particular to a commit hash you will be able to see that what we have seen now you are see that you are in a detached state and detached state so if you want to do so please do uh, please uh, switch back git switch hyphen c so here you will be able to see that git switch hyphen c so we will learn about this what is the switch afterwards next videos so we will be able to see this one you are in detached head. so no normally when you are in the detached head what we will try to do is we will try to do two types of scenarios we will be doing one is so you can use something like git checkout hyphen you can give hyphen hyphen means previously which state it was previously it was in the master so here you will be able to start before coming to this commit hash previously one step backward it is in the master so it will go to the previous state so if i click here so it moved to the previous state see so now previous previously the head is at the master so i am moving it to the master it is saying so previously the head where it is located it will move to that one so now you need to remember that git checkout space hash uh, slab <coughs> hyphen you need to give so now we have learned this one so for example if you are in that particular commit means and another scenario what we will try to do is so if you are in a particular uh, commit means so for example if i take this commit and if i paste it here so if i am in this particular commit means Normally, what the people will be doing is they will be creating here a separate branch. Okay. New branch or something like this, they will create. So from here onwards, a new branch will be created starting from that commit. Okay. So these are the two scenarios how we will be creating. So when you are in a detached state, you need to remember that you did you should not get panic. So what you need to do is just you can go back to the yeah, if you if you want, you can go back something like git checkout master. You can directly type like this when you are in detached state or otherwise you can create a new branch from it okay so these are the two things what we can do so now next scenario what we so if you are in detached head we will be doing the two scenarios that is nothing but what we can see is you can leave and go back by using git checkout master 
or otherwise you can create a new branch from this one and we can save the changes so head is no longer detached at the time okay these are the two methods we can do when we are in the detached head now so we will see that git checkout also supports another syntax you need to remember this one so git checkout also supports another syntax what is that syntax for example if i am here i am in the master so git log hyphen hyphen one line so i am in i am checking this git log so now if you are checking this git log if i want to move to a particular commit means i need to copy this hash and i need to paste it here okay so for uh, what do you need i need to paste here instead of pasting like that what we can do is so right now head is here so we we need we know that this current commit is two steps behind okay two steps behind the head so what we can do so here we can write in a short format something like git checkout okay so taking from the head tilde operator and go to two commits behind okay so two commits behind means so head head tilde one means it will come here head tilde two means it will come here so now if i cl click here c495581 remember so if i click here c c495581 so head has moved to here like this okay so there is no need to know the hash hash if you know we, how many how many places it is behind the head means you can write something like head till the, the number of the, the number how much how much uh, count it is behind the head we can write we can write it so now if you want to get back so what you can do we can write get git checkout hyphen or otherwise git checkout master so that it will move to that master again so git checkout hyphen means it will go to the previous position so this is the another syntax so you need to remember that git checkout head tilde one means it will go means that without knowing the hash we can move the work on commit one step back so if you want to go back wherever you are previous means git checkout space hyphen okay so this is the another syntax so that means so we can use this head and all those things also so now another one what we can do is not only these all things git checkout git checkout also one done one also do one important thing what is that one is for example if i try to check the status here if i try to check the status nothing is there so now what i will try to do i will try to change index.txt so what i will try to change here so i will change something like uh highly or something like this i will write okay i change it this file and also i will change master.txt already the one file is available here so i will write hi lila here also so i have written two things so now if i try to check the status so we are able to see that these two things are there so while uh, what we have learned previously so now i don't want to uh, uh i don't want to add these changes i want to remove these changes whatever the changes i want to uh, what i have did i want to remove these changes so what i need what i can do so one thing what we can do is git reset head hyphen hyphen hot so that everything will be removed so now if i try to check the status here everything is removed this is one way so that means if you don't want anything now what is my requirement is i need index.txt but i want to revert the master.txt okay i want to remove the, all those changes what is present in one master.txt file only what i can do here so reset means it will reset everything completely so here git checkout does this one so what it will try to do is so if i try to check uh, if i try to write it again here so i change like this okay so now another one what we can do git sorry bi master.txt again i will try to change uh, try to change these files so now i have changed so now if i try to check the status okay we will be able to see that modified two files are there now i want to uh, revert only one file that is index.txt file only how can i do is so we can use git checkout okay head and you need to give the file name sorry index.txt okay so if i give like this so where that head is pointed so what is what is the data present at that time head index.txt file is having so it will do that one so now if i try to click here see now if i try to check the status not sorry if i try to check the status nothing is there so now only one file is there so index.txt has been reverted okay so git checkout does this one also so if you want to remove the changes that are present in the so git checkout also use it to discard changes in the file you can revert the changes of the particular file using git checkout head file name so if you want to do the head means you can use hyphen hyphen also so if you want to revert means what you can do here so for example if you want to revert means so for example i want to revert this master.txt file also so i can use git checkout head master.txt 
okay so i can use this master.txt also so what will happen here so instead of writing this head you can also write short form something like hyphen hyphen okay so now if i click here so this one is also reverted if i try to check the status sorry if i try to check the status nothing is there so master.txt file also went away so the like this we can use git checkout is also used to discard the changes that are present in the staging okay so these these are the git checkout so now you will be able to understand that git checkout git checkout does a lot of things okay so git checkout does to moving the branch moving the head so moving to a particular commit and also git checkout does discarding the files also file changes also if you want to change the files also it will uh, git checkout will do it okay so these are the multiple things what the git checkout will do so now in the next video what we'll try to do is so we'll try to see about the switch and also if you try to see here we will be able to see some other option also so git restore so what are these commands then so if you are able to see this git checkout and all those things what are these commands then so let's try to see it in the next video so these are the multiple operations multiple functionalities what we can do using the git checkout hope you understood about this git checkout concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you